Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is manifesting for you at this moment. What is going on in your situation right now with you um, and the person that is on your mind? So whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. If by the end of this reading, you're still needing some more messages or confirmation, you can always take a look at your other placements. That's always an option for you. And if you are interested in personal readings, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay, Sagittarius. What's going on for my Sagittarius's? Okay. I'm seeing that in the past, there's been some sort of sudden change, shocking news, um, a surprise, a moment where you were very shocked or surprised an epiphany, upheaval, or transformation. So I'm, I am seeing that you have lost your balance in the past because of this sudden change and this shocking news. And it's kind of put you into a position of being independent. So I see you have been very independent in the past. You have... Um, I'm seeing there's been some sort of reward that you've gotten when it comes to your career and finances, but it, it, it really was like the main focus with this two of pentacles reversed. You prioritized your independence and your stability for yourself. Luxury opulence is what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing for some of you, you may have spent money on something very expensive or a luxury lifestyle for yourself. I am getting that you were really in your head about a situation with this Eight of Swords that you may have felt stuck or trapped in or literally just stuck in uh, and trapped in your, your thoughts about this. I am getting that the way that, you're, that you were seeing this situation in the past is as a loss of stability with this Four of Wands reverse. You feel like you lost out um, on some sort of stability or community celebration and a commitment here. Because of this, because it's like something wasn't matching up, two of pentacles reverse. One thing was prioritized more than the other. And this is why it's because you've lost your balance before in the past. Um, when it comes to a situation or a person. Right now, I'm seeing in your energy, we have talking. So interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, and hoovering. So let's take a look at you right now, Sagittarius. Okay, Seven of Wands. I'm seeing that you're no longer waiting. There's something that you're not waiting for anymore. You're feeling a need for protection or defending yourself with this Seven of Wands. I'm seeing that you are you've put up some sort of boundaries and you may be feeling like you're being attacked communication that is coming from all different all different ways and I'm seeing that you're taking it as aggressive or as being as if you're being attacked by this person I'm seeing right now king of swords like you have detached you from yourself you have detached from some sort of situation or person you've went cold you're not showing a lot of emotions. I'm seeing you're not you're not giving the situation emotion like you're thinking about things more rationally whether or not it adds up if it makes sense. 
Ten of Cups reversed. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that you're seeing this right now, this person or situation as a loss of harmony. This could be with someone who you've known for a very long time now. Ten of Cups reverse or someone who you had a family with or an idea of that this was going to be something long term that happily ever after where you're seeing it, it, it didn't turn out that way and you're it's because you're no longer waiting i see that you're no longer waiting for some sort of communication or message because you're protecting your peace at this point like you have a bubble around you and right now you're only interested in what brings you peace situations and people that are going to uplift you you're putting ba better boundaries right now. I see you really standing your ground. You've stopped something from progressing or developing. Because you were I see that you're 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 thinking about the situation over and you're doing very very deep thinking about it, looking at things more seriously and you're starting to think like this doesn't add up. Like realistically, it's not going to it's not I, I, I shouldn't say yes to this or I'm not going to say yes to this because it doesn't make sense. So we're going to take a look at the person that's on your mind. If you don't have anyone on your mind, that's just someone who's in your energy field. person on your mind they feel like they're not following their heart this person is keeping tabs on you with the sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out so i'm seeing that this person has their eye on you Be because they feel like they're they're not listening to their heart or they're not following their heart Knight of Cups reversed. Also, I'm seeing that they also feel like they've been, they haven't been thinking about things realistically, like they've been a dreamer. I'm seeing dreamer, um, not seeing the reality of a situation. The actions that they want to take towards you is that they want to keep investing into this with the Seven of Pentacles. So I see them right now being patient. They're being patient for some sort of growth or wanting to continue to, to grow a situation, invest into it, seeing what's working, what's not working, and wanting to heal things. So right now, they're interested in putting in ending some sort of uh, conflict with you. They don't want to fight. They don't want to. I'm saying they don't want to argue with you. They don't want to dis come to some sort of disagreement. I see that there's been hurtful words. You feel hurt or attacked by this person. They feel like they're some sort of dream or wish isn't happening broken dreams they're seeing this or you as a as a broken dream with that nine of cups reversed so let's take a look at the next few weeks for you Sagittarius you could possibly be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio I see action a conversation So I see in the next few weeks, we have a photograph. You could possibly be looking at this person's photos or old messages or keeping tabs through tarot readings like this, missing them, nostalgia, make new memories. I'm seeing that in the next few weeks, 
things are about to start to I'm seeing speed speed up so when it comes to like a work situation I'm seeing things if you were in like a slow period things are about to speed up for you six of wands this is some sort of win or victory that I'm seeing you're taking action towards a win and a victory for yourself where you are going to be seen recognized and celebrated I'm seeing you're very intelligent you're very smart there's someone sees you as very intelligent and smart you have a lot of wisdom I'm hearing science for some reason something about the science like you like science but I am seeing communication I see action towards communicating having a very serious and open um, conversation but the way that you see a situation after this conversation is as like up in the air or needing to let go limbo delays hanging in suspense hanging in suspense for some sort of reply so let's take a look at the outcome for you Sagittarius but I see that there's something that you're fighting for you're fighting for something battling for this and you end up winning you end up getting what you've been fighting for because of the action that you're taking or because you're making some sort of move on this I'm seeing a lot of success for you. A lot of success with this Queen of Wands. You could possibly be an entrepreneur or you, you're into a lot of different things, a lot of different hobbies. You have a lot of things going for you, a lot of different interests. Queen of Wands, I see you uh, becoming very, very attractive. A lot of people are going to be noticing you in the outcome with this Six of Wands. People are going to be seeing you as very sexy or attractive. People are going to feel like you're out of their league. I see you being seen. I'm, I'm getting that there's something that has to do with a commitment or a lifestyle with this Hierophant. You're committing yourself to something. The way that you're seeing a person or this situation down the line is eight of swords is as feeling in their head or insecure fears over you because we do have the mirror so mirroring each other self-image relationship reflects our wounds introspection i'm seeing your self-image something about your self-image in the in the outcome like your the image that you're that you have is very high people are seeing you as very very successful I see something about your image uh, growing stronger. I'm seeing a commitment. Someone, you make someone nervous or someone feels insecure around you because they're seeing you so attractive. Fire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy. Whatever you're taking action in the next few weeks, down the line is going to bring you a lot of success. So let's get some specifics for you and details. Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, so we have poverty showing up in your past. So for some of you, you've come from a, a rough childhood or 
in the past like you didn't you couldn't afford just anything although those are the things that you wanted there has been some sort of loss of money because of a, a very expensive purchase something like that there's I see that there's been some sort of loss because of a sudden change and shocking news and this could also have to do with a person the person on your mind they're concerned I'm seeing that they're we have a message of concern so they are worrying over you stressing out anxious they're they're shocked I'm seeing that this person is is concerned of like the way that things are right now they don't like it distant horizons so I see you distancing yourself or you could literally live at a distance from this person with that distance horizon so air travel or it could be a long drive to see each other with this anchor I'm seeing that it's like you're pulling out an anchor you were you were in stagnant in one situation for a while but now you're starting to move forward you're about to take action on that we have a family room so something about the family in the next few weeks here spending time with family i'm hearing meeting family so we also have a pathway in your outcome butterflies to me this is um Butterflies is a symbol for me for transformation, growth. You're going from a, a caterpillar to a butterfly. And not every caterpillar can turn into a butterfly, but you are. You're going into a different pathway. And Spirit is saying you're on the right path. You're being guided. You may be seeing butterflies. That could be synchronistic for some of you. Monarch butterflies in particular. But the path that you're going towards is going to be very bright. You have a very bright future. I see the numbers 37, 14, 36, 21, and 35. So, is there anything that Sagittarius should know right now? I'm seeing a lot of fire. So, fire moving forward, I see there's someone who you have a lot of passion for a lot of uh lust and i see this leading to a commitment where the feelings are going to be mutual with that mirror things are going to be um the same mirroring each other What does Sagittarius need to know right now? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. So Spirit is saying luck is on your side moving forward. You're about to get really, really lucky. This was destined to happen. It's your path, your life path, path with that pathway. Luck is on your side. So this new beginning for you is going to be, it's going to be, you're going to start to feel really, really lucky. But this was destined and meant to happen for you. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.